I'm starting off this video by assuming that 90% of the internet does not know what a is. If that's you, congratulations. You want a miniature schnauzer? Go to your local pet store and tell them I sent you. They'll totally know what's up. Now, a is a creature that in larval stage can suck out your life force and is harvested by space and is a green glowy thing and is probably into conspiracy theories and Joe Rogan. Never mind. I made one in Blender because it's freaking cool and they need more love and a Netflix deal and I want to work on one before or after I work on Alien. I found a good image to use as a reference and I went from there. I made a sphere and I squashed it down and then deleted half of it. Then, using proportional modeling, I shaped this thing out. Proportional modeling is this thing you can turn on at the top of the screen and it makes magic happen when you pull points around. Next, I had to extrude the gums for teeth. So I selected a bunch of polygons and using the loop tools add-on that comes free with Blender, I was able to make circles out of poly selections. I positioned and extruded it and then made a smaller one the same way. This is old school modeling and not many people do this anymore after they watch thousands of YouTube videos, but I, I don't care because it works for me and it makes me feel nice and warm. Then I mirrored it and being that I didn't screw up the positions of the points in the inner edge, it all came together perfectly. I just moved some points around now to get the shape out, then extruded the gums a little. Teeth were next. They were just cubes that I extruded into the shapes I needed for teeth, nothing special here. Once I subdivided them, I was able to position and copy and, and have teeth. Keeping the geometry simple allowed me to move only a few points around and get the shape I wanted. Now it was time for the brains. Not the cool zombie stuff, but more like a few brain looking things inside. I made a sphere, I went into geometry nodes, distributed a bunch of points on the sphere, then point instanced some of the spheres to that one, and then boom! Instant larva brain thingy. Everyone knows how to do this now. Everyone. I actually get called out now for doing simple scatter stuff by the experts in the YouTube comments. <laughs> just, just kidding. I do go over this stuff in a whole mini course on making this thing on Patreon in painstaking detail for anyone who wants to see way more detail and steps. Geometry nodes aren't too crazy difficult, but they are a different way of thinking. And I have some good beginner videos on it on Patreon. Back to the life source sucker thingy. I copied the brains around and rotated them. There, good. I needed the membrane, so I made a sphere, cut off some of it, then proportionally modeled the thing down. Great, perfect. It looks like crap, but it's mine and I love it. More sculpting time! I went in, copied the body, and then subdivided it and applied it. I had no desire to mess with multi-mesh or multi-res or any of that stuff. I just went brute force, baby. I sculpted and sculpted and sculpted. I sort of like sculpting, even though I kind of suck at it. It's fun and useful, and you can make pretty monsters and stuff with it. You can even turn on matcap in Blender and make it look like ZBrush, and you don't even have to learn that crazy interface. Shading time! I made some colors, some green colors, and some red colors, and, and some white colors. The membrane is thick, so a good index of refraction seems to get me what I want. I think I looked up the index of refraction for shampoo or glycerin or something for this, so there, that, that works. Now I played with the subsurface scatter and got a waxy look, which was all wrong. So I played more and I got meat. Testing this thing in an HDRI environment let me see this thing in a setting, and, and I was kind of liking it, so onward and upward. I thought it best to model more of the membrane out. It was looking a bit stupid, so I made it better. Then I gave the brains a meat shader too, because I knew they'd be under the membrane, and like, whatever. Lastly on this thing, I gave the membrane a displace modifier to make it undulate more, like a, like a real Seriously, w like when you see these things in real life, they all look undulating, so like make them do that in the computer. The shader needed texturing, so I unwrapped the UV maps. I go over this in painstaking detail on Patreon if you're at all interested. I projected this simply and relaxed some of the UVs and got to a point where I thought it could work. Then I wrote it out as a UV map and brought it into Affinity Photo where all photoshoppers who hate subscriptions go. You know, well, maybe not, but, but I like it. In Affinity Photo, I grabbed a public domain image of meat, and I copied the meat all over the UV image, then painted out the seams so it looks good on the model. Then I loaded it into Blender and yeah, meaty goodness. I did the same for teeth and made them yucky too by painting the blood color over some coffee stained teeth. Cause like, seriously, like every time I see a in real life, things freaking drinking coffee. So I totally, I just, I, I made that happen here. Looking good. Now I needed a synapse. So I modeled some using an extruded cube, then stuck them into the membrane, copied and rotated, and, and there. Now it's nice and brainy. I knew that no one would like care, and 
No one's gonna like look inside the membrane and go, you copied those, there's a copy and rotate it. I can tell, no, you, you can't tell, you, you just can't. So I just went with that. So no is complete without a way to animate it. So I added some bones. I rigged this up and manually made it work. After weight painting it, it had a decent setup. I parented it all to an empty above so that I can make it swing like when it flies and there. Put it in a tunnel and see what it looks like. Nice. Now I just packaged it up and be able to append it into a scene and call it a day. Here I screwed around and made lots of them invade downtown LA. It's stupid fun, but a good exercise in really fast creature design. If you like this, please subscribe, because I totally want to hit 100,000 subscribers so I can be better than everyone I went to high school with. So, see you in the next one. Thanks.